Welcome to today's lesson on polygons. Today, we are going to discuss how you can classify a polygon. Let's go ahead and get started. We are going to begin today by reviewing what a polygon is. A polygon is a closed plane figure. Well, what does that mean? Think about the sides of a shape like a fence. If the fence can go all the way around the shape and is completely closed, it is a closed plane figure. But if the fence only goes part of the way around and doesn't finish, then it's an open plane figure. So a polygon has to be a closed plane figure. Next, a polygon has to have three or more line segments. So it can't have any rounded edges or twists or turns to it. It has to only be line segments. Let's go through these four figures and decide which ones are polygons. Let's start with this figure here. This is a closed plane figure, but look, part of the side is round. That means that it cannot be a polygon, even though it has a few line segments in it. It has to be only made of line segments. Let's look at our next shape. This is also a closed plane figure, and look, it's made out of one, two, three, four line segments. A polygon that is made out of four line segments or has four sides is called a quadrilateral. Let's move on to our next shape. This shape is also a closed plane figure. And look, it's made out of all line segments. It has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. A polygon that is made out of six sides is called a hexagon. Let's look at our last figure. This figure is also a closed plane figure, but look, it has a rounded side to it that is not a line segment. So this cannot be a polygon. Let's discuss quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals are four-sided polygons. We have many different types of quadrilaterals, including squares, which have four sides that have the same length, two sets of parallel sides, and four 90-degree angles, trapezoids, which have two parallel sides, Rectangles, which have four 90-degree angles and two sets of parallel sides. And parallelograms, which also have two sets of parallel sides but don't have to have 90-degree angles. But wait, how can a shape be a polygon and a quadrilateral? Well, remember, a polygon is just a closed plane figure that has at least three line segments creating the shape. But within that, different polygons have many different sides, and so we have to give those names. For example, a three-sided polygon is called a triangle, a four-sided polygon is called a quadrilateral, a five-sided polygon is called a pentagon, a six-sided polygon is called a hexagon, a seven-sided polygon is called a heptagon, and an eight-sided polygon is called an octagon. So you just have to remember that when you're talking about a quadrilateral, you're just talking about a specific type of polygon. Hey look, it's a soccer ball. This soccer ball is filled with shapes. Do you think that you can identify some of the shapes? Let's go ahead and start with this one. Is this a polygon? Well look, it's a closed shape figure that is created out of at least three line segments. So this is a polygon, but what type of polygon? It has one, two, three, four, five sides. That means that this is a pentagon. Can you spot any more polygons in this soccer ball? All right, here's our next polygon. We know that it's a polygon because it's a closed shape, but what's the name of this polygon? It has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. Since it has six sides, we call it a hexagon. Great job! Can you spot any more polygons? What about this? Is the shape of the ball a polygon? Well, it's a closed shape figure, but it's not created out of line segments. This is a circle, and a circle is not a polygon. Great work! Let's go through a word problem together. Vivian is identifying different shapes in her class. She says that the shape below is a polygon. Her classmate disagrees. Who is correct? Let's go through this together. It looks like she wrote some notes next to the shape. She says that it is a closed figure, 
it has line segments, and it has four sides. This sounds like a polygon. Let's go through each step of the checklist. It is a closed figure. We don't have any open ends on this figure. It has line segments. Well, it has two line segments, but look, the top and the bottom of this shape are curved. Since these are curved, they aren't line segments. And that means that it can't be a polygon. In order to change this into a polygon, we need to have straight line segments going all the way across on the top and the bottom. I guess her classmate is correct. Let's take a moment to review what you have learned in today's lesson. A polygon is a closed plane figure that is made out of at least three line segments. But remember, your shape can't have any turns or bends in it. That is not a polygon. It has to be made out of straight lines, like this triangle. You also should remember that you can classify polygons depending on their characteristics and how many sides they have. The different number of sides will tell you different names for that polygon.